Well, hello, YouTube Pipe community. This is Smarty Bob, and I, uh, out in my garage, I had a one of these big patio heaters out here. It went bad on me yesterday, so I, they need a special bulb for it, and the bulb cost more than I paid for the whole unit, so I didn't replace it. So I got a little bitty nine-inch heater sitting out here on a bucket turned upside down so if you hear the noise i'm sorry <clears throat> my purpose today was i was going through some tobacco and uh, i came across some garth garth and hogger kindle gold Now, you know, I was looking at this tobacco. Look at that cut on that. As I was looking at it, <coughs> it's smaller than a ribbon cut. It's not nearly as fall as the five or small as the five brothers, which is like hair like. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about this. So I thought I'd come out here, <coughs> put it in a pipe and smoke it for the first time. <laughs> how long it's been here and what i wanted to do was <clears throat> a lot of times when i'm smoking a new blend i've never smoked before don't know what to expect i don't know what to expect i'll go find a small bull pipe now many of you know i have some pretty large bull pipes here uh, yeah, I got some large bull pipes. <laughs> and this is the opposite. This bowl is actually teeny. It's half the size of most of my bowls that I smoke. But a small bowl has its place. But I came out and went over there and started looking at that pipe. I said, well, what is that pipe? And it really looks unique. So I got out the magnifying glasses this says it's a medico gold crest of course it says imported briar of course it's got the medico name on this or the insignia on the stem there and it's beautiful pipe uh, you can't see it in this light but the brains the grains really pretty it's shiny it's almost like new I'm trying to remember where I've got this pipe. Then I turn it over on the other side. And it says model 25, which tells me nothing. Then I start looking at this gold ring here. And there's words on it. And it says Medico Gold Crest. Then it says 14 karat gold. So I don't know whether, the, I, I know it had to be an expensive pipe if this is gold. Of course, you know, it could be gold plate, but who knows, but it, it, it's stamped on there 14 karat gold. So way too long on this thing. So I thought I'd take this little pipe, little bowl, and load it with some of this and I'll get back with you. Maybe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I found out that this is Galwith Hogart and Company's Kindle Gold. And I thought it was kind of unique that I would pick up this pipe that's the gold crest pipe with the gold band. Life's funny. I'm, I didn't load this up yet, so I'll do it now and uh, see if I can match some of this stuff up together in a, in a video. Just want to show you, I got some of this poured out. It's not hair thin like the Five Brothers. 
but boy, it, it's it's pretty thin. It's a uh, it's about the thinnest cut I've seen other than the Five Brothers. And I got my pipe packed. Want to get this back in the envelope? I'll cut some of this out. And. Uh, very surprised at this <laughs> who knows how old it is and because it's such a small bowl I'm going to try something I'm going to move this camera so hold on a minute to get a better view I'm going to see if I can get a very soft light out of one of these type of uh, lighters. I don't like a big puffy light on this little small bowl. This is a small bowl. Look at my thumb. My thumb covers that pipe. Like I said before, the description in this is uh, the very lightest of Virginia's they could get. And it, it is light. This, uh, this leaf's not brown at all. It's yellow. Kind of like a blonde, I know. <laughs> an unusual taste. I'm a Burley guy. I'm not a Virginia guy. Isn't that an interesting looking pipe? The more I look at it, the more I'm fascinated about it. Well, for you Virginia people out there, I recommend this. For you people that like aromatics, I'd almost recommend this too. It's got a flavor. I mean, it's definitely a sweet, it's definitely a sweet flavor. You know, with experience, you get to know a pipe and the tobacco that you could freight train. This is not that type of pipe, and it's definitely not that type of tobacco. I think if you uh, pack this in a big old rat with extra large bowl or any of these other large bowls and packed it in there and set it afire, you'd have some tongue bite. But if you sit here and just uh, sip on it, just enough to keep it going, you're going to be all right. You're not going to have any tongue bite. I don't feel any warmth on this tongue at all from this but I'm just sipping, I'm just. That's the reason why you're not seeing all this smoke. Well, new experience, I'm probably gonna 
I don't know when I'm going to post this. By the way, right now, it's my Thursday night. I'll probably post this on Friday, Friday morning. I hate posting too much. But uh, tomorrow night, my uh, tobacco giveaway ends. So you need to go to that channel and uh, sign up if you're interested in it. And uh, I'm going to get rid of some tobacco here on the wall and some tins. Right now, unless there's some more of this over there somewhere, this is all I got. I don't think you're going to see this in the giveaway. Well, this string of this video here is going to be attached to the first thing when I opened up. And I'm already about seven minutes and the other's about three or four, so it's way too long a video. Last month was a great month. February is going to be better. And I think this is leap year. So we get an extra day in February. Today was a pretty shiny day. I almost sat out and smoked on my patio out back by a little cave back there in the brick because it showed right at 70 degrees back there, even when it was showing like 35, 36. Yesterday was just a memory. Tomorrow's just a promise. I want you to go enjoy today. Great stuff. But you never know what you're finding in the garage. So you all go find a pipe, a strange pipe, and enjoy today. And now, I did find my clicker. Oh! <laughs>